What's up guys, it's Hatayat7RCT bringing you another video for you guys and I hope you guys are doing well out there, hope you guys are having fun. I don't know what point in time this one is going to come out, but I do know this, this is the video that's going to cover the meat and potatoes of this whole thing with the hyperspin, which is of course the console side of it. How many consoles are available for this to configure, um, is there any improvement? you know, in terms of how many consoles I can have here versus my old hyperspin setup. And of course, what is the point? Is there a point? Is there something good enough for me to uh, consider this over the, the basic hyperpi? Because of course, this is also based on the hyperspin version tailor made for the Raspberry Pi. And to all of those, you're gonna see basically on your own with the video uh, how far this has come because most of the stuff that uh, that is available here in this aspect of the hyper pi pc it's is uh, stuff that you're not gonna be able to run on a raspberry pi or anything basically portable because now we have systems like wii u we have 3ds we have playstation 3 that of course cannot run in these uh, more scaled down hardware but that's the whole point of this you know if you have the hardware out there if you have a PC a beefy PC and you know you want something a little bit more that's gaming related and you want to kind of like um, flex the muscles that your PC has well this is it guys and let's go into that so you can see what I'm talking about all right guys so we're back and we're going to launch the hyper pi here because today our video is going to be about consoles you know the meat and potatoes of basically having one of these setups is to have all in one place your favorite consoles so we move away from the arcade tab and go into the consoles and we find of course the famous names up here the first three atari Now, I haven't checked each and every one because there's so many games, as you can see by the upper right corner. Yeah, uh, going through all of those games is going to take quite some time and quite some doing configuring also because I haven't tested Loading these. Complete. I've tested a lot of things, but this I have not, I have to confess. But here we are. Atari 2600. breakout and I got a feeling this is gonna end bad yeah I don't think so in any case I should be playing Jar's Revenge which is one of my all-time favorites from here the thing is getting all the way down there it's gonna take a time. Wow. Look at all these games. Jesus, it's gonna tilt my. But, anyways, the point is that they're here. Atari Jaguar is here, also here. And I got a more full. I haven't checked. I mean, I configured to make them work, and I made at least one game or two work outside. But I can see that it's. A little glitchy here so I'm gonna come back to that one later I also have ColecoVision this one I did try out and it was working fine loading loading complete yeah there you go but of course these are all 
systems that are are perfectly fine either in um, retro pi you know for raspberry pi or hyperspin um, now commodore amiga 32 this one was a bit of a pain in the ass to configure so if i'm honest or that were not part of basically my my previous um, setup all of this vectrix and PC Engine, I, I had all of that. PCFX I, I don't have, but I'm gonna need a extra drive in order to, to carry the amount of games that are here, so stay tuned for that one. Now, Super Graphics, I also had. Turbo 16, of course. I cannot be serious about doing one of these without mentioning Turbo Graphics. Their descriptions. Some nice shoot 'em ups here. Of course, this is one of the earlier consoles that had the best shoot 'em ups. And I think I have them also on Japanese. So as you can see, they're represented. I actually have more Japanese PC Engine games than the uh, American one. This one I have 271 games. But that's not the best part. The best part is having these puppies. The Turbo CDs. Now this is a first one for me here. Loading. Loading complete. And I get a chance to share them with you guys. Complete with the awesome CD music. Very metal. Lords of Thunder. Only have three hundred here, so. music If there's a way to configure it to make it louder. That was that. Later, I will bring back more. If you guys want me to play a specific one from this list, just let me know. I know I'm going to be diving in here maybe for one or two when I do the shoot 'em ups one. 
but there you have it. I got my turbo complete with you know Japanese releases and CDs. Nintendo. You know what can I say? It's all here. That's the best thing I can say. It's all here. But you guys didn't expect less than that. That music. That music is gonna go, by the way. I don't have any games for the Famicom. Oh yeah, yes I do. Okay. I thought I had configured that. I even have for the disk system. As you can see here, all the games that were released on disk are represented. And guess which one has the cool music? <laughs> oh yeah! Let's change. There we go. We're back to cover flow here. 3D cover flow for the games. And as you can see by the upper right corner, they're pretty much. I don't have to prove too much that it's working because this is Super Nintendo after all so it doesn't really take that much and these are systems that I of course I, I run them even from the mini so you know. but just to show you guys that it's up and running And of course, very, very important, please notice the upper right corner, all of the Super Famicom releases, and the vast majority of them are already translated and patched, so yeah, something that I had alluded to in the past with my other hyperspin, but really wasn't working up to snuff and another cool music stop here to show you guys another staple Nintendo 64 it need to have Nintendo 64 running in these things because if not you're wasting your time you're doing it wrong you need to have the 64 now, Japanese releases, I don't think, yeah. When you see it blank like that, is that there's no, no, no games for it. Uh, neither are the 64DD. I will look into those later. But we run into GameCube. And basically, here's where I'm going to leave it. Because later on the second part I will then go into basically um, covering the systems that weren't working back uh, in the day of the previous hyperspin Complete. Uh, uh, uh. Sure, why not? 
Now there, of course, there are going to be some consoles that do not appear in that main list that I'm showing you guys. However, as I get them, or I add them, I will be updating with some newer videos and stuff. So you guys can see it. Probably left this one for the shooter bomb. It's absolutely beautiful. But I'm gonna get out of here. Cause I don't know if I look No no no. I'm 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 okay. It's just that I thought that the the list was gonna end, but no, the list keeps going. The thing is that there's some uh, systems here that you're gonna see like this one that I'm going to be covering later but the rest of the best is here you have you know your Sony Playstations including three in a very limited capacity I don't even have the games running on it yet and even 360 but those are not the staples. The staples are these, like Sega CD and Sega 32X, which I have. So yeah, that's basically the list. If we go a little quicker, you can see Dreamcast. And another one that I definitely am going to cover in the next one is going to be this one, the Indies. So stay tuned for the next video on that one. And let's end the video with uh, a little Neo Geo. Plenty of do last blade. Loading. Loading complete. And it's funny because it's it was looking for Final Burn Alpha and it didn't register the AE. Version it only registered the arcade one, so it's alright. It's still good. We still got the unreal. Still the arcade version. Damn. 
I don't know how I won that one, but yeah. There you go. Much better. So there you have it guys. Even though the, the last console game I ended up playing it on the arcade, but yeah. That's a little brain fart on my behalf. I'll be better prepared for the next one. And this is without even going into Genesis. 32X. Saturn, oh my god, so many. But I'll just leave it here on the Dreamcast to just sign out. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if there's anything in particular that you see here that you would want me to focus a bit more on. Because I'm kind of like all over the place with so many content or so much content to cover. I kind of like go crazy thinking, you know, what the hell am I going to do for these guys? There's so much to do. Which one should I do first? But let me know, guys. See you guys later. Take care.